Hello humans, today I'm going to teach you about lists. Imagine you want to store the names of your top three favorite bands. You could say favorite band one is Unleash the Archers, favorite band two is Encore, and favorite three is Bring Me the Horizon. To print these to our screen, we could just call print three times and pass each variable to a print statement. This isn't too bad, but imagine we worked at Spotify and we had to keep track of thousands of band names. Creating a variable for each one would take far too long, so instead we can create one list variable and store all the names within it. To make a list, we first give it a name, favorite bands, and set that equal to square brackets. Then we can type the first band name within these brackets. To add another band to the list, type a comma followed by the second band's name. We can then repeat this for our third band. Personally, I like to put a space after each comma for readability, but that's optional. Each item we put in a list is called an element. In our case, we are storing three strings within our list, meaning our list has three elements within it. Even though we are only using strings here, I want to point out that lists can hold elements of any data type. You can even mix and match data types within the same list. For example, I could create daily temperatures, which holds integers, or I could create Sally info, which holds a mix of strings, integers, and floats. For this tutorial, we'll just be sticking to strings though. Now that we've made our list, I can give it to the print function, and running this, I see my whole list print out. What if I just wanted to print out my number one band though? To reference one specific element out of our list, we have to tell Python the position of that element. In our print statement, after the name of our list, we can place square brackets and type in the position of Unleash the Archers. Unleash the Archers is the first band in my list, so I'll type a 1 here. When I run this, I don't see Unleash the Archers print out, and instead, I see Encore. So what happened? Well, we had the right idea, but we started counting at the wrong number. We thought that since Unleash the Archers is first in our list, then it's at position 1, but that's not the case. We as humans start counting at 1, but computers start counting at 0. This means that our first band is actually at position 0, Encore is at position 1, and Bring Me the Horizon is at position 2. To fix our problem, we swap the 1 for a 0 in our print statement, and running this, we see Unleash the Archers print out. An element's position is called its index. So in technical terms, Unleash the Archers is at index 0, Encore is at index 1, and so on for however many elements we have in our list. Normally, I try to avoid technical vocab in our tutorials, but element and index are crucial for clear communication, so do your best to remember these terms. If you want to add another band to our list, we have two methods. We can use append or insert. I'll say the name of my list dot append. Append is a function that is built into every list within Python. When we want to use a function that is built into a type of variable, we type the name of our variable, dot, and the name of our function. In our case, this gives us favorite bands, dot append. Like always, since append is a function, we have to put parentheses behind it. Now we can type the element we want to append to the end of our list. I'll say, append the string Vildiarta to my list and then print favorite bands. Now I'll run my code and I can see all four band names are now within my list. Alternatively, we could insert a band name at a specific position. Let's say I wanted to add first rain as my number two band. To do so, I'll say favorite bands dot insert. Insert needs to know two things, the index we want to insert at and the element that needs to be inserted. I'll say that the new band should be inserted at index 1, and that band is first rain. Note that we separate the index and element with a comma. Running this, I see that first rain is now in the number 2 slot, which is at index 1. So that's how we add data, but what if we just want to change what is already there? I'll delete my append and insert functions to keep things clean, and then I'll say that I want to change something within favorite bands. That something is at index 1 and I want that element to equal first rain. Running this, we see that Encore has been overridden by first rain because we've replaced whatever was at index one with first rain. Deleting data from lists is a bit uncommon, but if we wanted to, we say the name of our list dot remove. In these parentheses, we can type the element we want removed. 
Let's say Unleash the Archers gets a new vocalist, so they're off my list. I'll say Remove Unleash the Archers from the list favorite bands. Running this, I see that Unleash the Archers is gone. One thing you should note is that the Remove function only removes the first occurrence of the element we give it. If I had Unleash the Archers in my list twice, then the leftmost Unleash the Archers would be removed, but the second occurrence would remain. Today we learned how to group and manipulate similar data by using lists. As always, a big thank you for liking, subscribing, and ringing that bell. Comment below with suggestions for future videos, and I will see you in the next one.